Hello children, after a long time, we will meet you here. Uh, now today, uh, I am KP Bakshi from GRU school, we will teach you class 9 mathematics. And today, we will continue with the number system, last time what you leave you there, so we will start from here. I hope all of you are ready with the copies and books. Now please remember what we did last time, that is, lastly we finished the irrational number, how to find irrational number between two irrational numbers, clear? Now today I will teach you more about the number system. So first of all, a sum of, the four fundamental operations, sum of, subtraction of, multiplication of, or division of two rational number, is it always rational or some, some other numbers? We will check it here, okay? So look at here, suppose number one, sum of two rational number, suppose 1 by 2 plus 3 by 5. How much you can do? The P by Q form is a rational number, isn't it? So now, if you take LCM, what is the LCM? 5, 2 is a 10. Then 2, 5, 5, 1 is a 5, and 5, 2 is a 2, 3 is a 6. So it is 11 by 10. They are also rational numbers. Any numbers, like say 2 plus 3 equal to 5. So this is also by 1 by 1 is a rational number, isn't it? If we add it 2.3, plus 3.5, how much it will get? 5 plus 3, 8 and 5, 5.8. So these also are decimal rational numbers. So sum of rational number, always rational number. So what do you learn from here? Sum of two rational number, always rational numbers. Now if I change this one as subtractions, say question number two, the same examples, we change the sign. What will happen? Look at here. If I change the sign as minus, what will happen? Same thing, 5 minus 6, you will get minus 1. Look at here, minus 1. Same examples, but still it is a rational numbers. Like here also, 2 minus 3, how much you can get? You will get here, what? Minus 1. These are the rational numbers. If I subtract these two, how much you will get? Look at this subtraction. This is a bigger number, minus n will come, 3.5 and 2.3. 1.2. So 1.2 also are minus negative rational numbers. So what you learn from here, the subtractions of two rational number always rational numbers. Now we come to multiplications, okay? Understood? Now come to multiplications. If I multiply this, what will happen? I change the sign as multiplications. The same examples, so multiply. How much you get? 3 by 2 fives are 10. Still rational number? 6 by 1, still rational number, if I multiply it, you multiply in the rough, 2.3 and 3.5. While multiplying decimal, don't ignore, just ignore decimal afterwards, you count the decimal place. So 5 threes are 15, 1 in hand, 10 and 1, 11, 3 threes are 9, 3 twos are 6. So 5, 10, 7 and 1, 8, now 1, 2. So you get 8.05. So this is the way you can get another rational number. So what do you learn from here? The multiplication of two rational number always rational numbers. Now we come to division, division of two rational numbers. Look at here. Now if I divide these two values, what will happen? 1 by 2 multiply, when you make this one is multiplication, this one will be reciprocal. Like ulta, 5 by 3, just upside down, numerator to denominator. Now, we cannot cancel, so it will be 5 by 6, it's a rational number. If I divided this, 2 by 3, still rational number. If I divided this one, uh, what will happen? 2.3, 3.5. Both are decimal number, after decimal only one digit, look at here, after decimal only one digit. So you can ignore decimal easily. That means you can leave the decimal, you will get 23 by 35. It is possible only the same decimal place left after decimal, okay? You can ignore the decimal or you can remove decimal by 10, by 10, 10, 10, cancel, you'll get the same thing. Still is a rational number. So what do we learn from here? Division of two rational number, also rational number. Now we come to irrational number. So for example, number one, root two plus root three. How much it is? We cannot add because two different irrational number cannot add. It's still a result will be like this only, root 2 plus root 3. If it is sub subtract, this also subtract, minus only. So sum and difference, here we get it, 
both are irrational numbers, not it. Now let's look at example one. These are rational, root two plus root three. Now look at here, two plus root three, one irrational number. These two, root two plus root three is irrational, okay? Now this is one irrational, another irrational numbers I'm writing here. What is that? Two minus root three, see, different, because the sign is different. If I add these two numbers, then what will happen? You just remove the bracket, two plus root three, two minus root three. So root three and root three cancel. How much you can get? Four. Four is no root, that means rational. So sum of two different irrationals may be rational. In this example, may be irrational. So we cannot say always. So what you learn from here, in case of subtraction also like this, you write here, root three plus two and minus root three minus two. If I open this, what will happen? Root three plus two minus root three and minus into minus plus two. So it is canceled, it'll get four. But the same example, if I take it here, two plus root three minus two minus root three, what will happen? It will be two plus root three minus two minus minus plus root three. So here cancel will get root three plus root three, just like x plus x to x, it is two root three, two into root three. That means here we get it, difference of two, two irrational may be rational, may be irrational. So what you learn from here, sum and subtraction of two irrational number may be rational, may be irrational. We cannot confirm it is always, clear? Now we come to a, give an example of multiplication and division, clear? Look at here. Now, look at here, root two into root three. How much? As power is same, we can multiply. You know the lower class one formula, root A into root B is root AB. On that basis, if I multiply two into three, you'll get six, still is irrational. But if I multiply here two root three into root three, see two different irrationals, it will get two into root three into root three, how much? Three. See, so look at here, root three into root three. If you follow this, you'll get root three into three. And square root of pair of two, we can choose one. That's way we can get root three into root three is three. Any, for example, you can take an example more, like root five into root five is five, root six into root six is six, like that, okay? Any two same root, if you multiply, we'll get the only number. So here, what you can get, two threes are six. For other ones, so, what do you get uh, learn here? That multiplication of two irrational may be irrational, may be rational, not always one, okay? So, multiplication of two irrational number also may be rational, may be irrational. Now, come to division. If I write root two by root three, what will happen? The same formula you learn in class eight, root a by root b equal to how much? Root a by b. Because power is same, we can multi divide easily. So, you also, 2 by 3, clear? Likewise, if I write 2 root 3 by root 3, so root 3 root 3 cancel, we'll get 2. So here, division of two irrational numbers may be irrational, may be rational. So that very important, many short question is to come, the multiply or addition, subtraction, multiply divisions of two irrational, either rational or irrational. So you have to go through these examples, you'll get easily get the answers, clear? Now we come to some other cases, like last time we show you root two, how can make it a number line, irrational number. Now, decimal of square root of any irrational numbers, how can draw in a number line? I'll show you now, clear? Now this question, many of many times you can find this question in exam. Represent root 9.3, root 7.3, root 5.5 on the number line. How will make it? Look at here. First you have to draw a line, okay? Now take any point at the end, consider as A. And take 9.3 centimeters, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
Y in 3 suppose here. It's B. Take one more centimeter after that, like here, C. Now your total length now A to C, 9.3 plus 1, that means 10.3 up to. You have to do what? Perpendicular bisector of total length A and C. But do you know how to make perpendicular bisectors? Confusion. So I'll show you. Look at here. If I draw a line, take any point with the compass, you have to draw an arc like this. Okay? And it is a 90 degree, you know, from here draw an one arc, from here also, or here also you can make. From these two, you draw two arcs, it's a perpendicular. But how to make perpendicular bisectors? You have to take a radius from here, more than half of the side. This is a half, no? So more than half, you have to draw an arc like this. Here. From this side also, here. Here. And if I join it, you will get exactly middle point. That's called perpendicular bisector. You have to apply this here. Look at here. From here, I take the radius up to this much and draw an arc. Here also, down there. From A and C. From A and C. Then here also, you can draw an arc and join this. You will get a point here as O. So this is called middle point and we do perpendicular bisector. Clear? Now from here, you take this radius and draw one semicircle which must be passed through C. Draw one semicircle with this radius, with this radius. See the marking I make it. So with this radius, you have to draw a circle. Then what we'll do? You have to draw 190 degree at the point of B. I already show you how to make 90. Is not it? Look at here, how to make 90 degree. So from here, draw an arc. From here, draw two arcs. From here, two. You join and produce which must be intersect at the semicircle at say M. So take now BM is the radius. Take BM is the radius. If you take BM is the radius, this one, and draw an arc from here like this, it will come here. So this point you consider as E. And in that way, this value, you know, this value we can find root this is root 9.3. We can find from here, the square root of 9.3 from here. Easily, you can delect, uh, detect easily. Clear? So, please remember this, this, this process. Many times you can find this one. This is the way you can find uh, what you call BD value. Actually, this one is the 9.3, no? This one is 9.3. So, this one I make it here. That means this part is... Same radius, so this way I show you 9.3. Not from here, mind it. It is square root, it is 9.3 only number. And square root is this, clear? So this is the way you can represent this one on the number line. See, on the line we find root 9.3 value, clear? Now, I'll uh, show you some new part of this number system that is, what? Can you guess it? Yes, the new part of the number system that is rationalizations, okay? I come to learn rationalization. Clear? Rationalization. First, you have to know what is the meaning of rationalizations. I'll tell you the definitions. Whenever you have to make denominator irrational to rational, the process is called rationalizations. What is the rationalizations? To make rational denominator from irrational denominator. Like for example, if I have a 1 by root 2, I want to make, this is irrational, no? Irrational. I have to make it a rational number. And the process we call rationalizations. I repeat again, what is the rationalizations? Rationalization is a process to make irrational denominator to rational denominator. Now numerator, denominator, down one, okay? This numerator is a denominator. To make rational denominator, we have to apply a process. That process is called rationalizations. And to make this rationalization, we need some rationalization factor. What is the rationalization factor? Look at here, I am writing here, R dot F, rationalization factor. Look at here, 
how it will be if root 2 is irrational denominator you have to multiply with it is rational irrational denominator irrational denominator okay you have to make rational to multiply with rationalization factor this rational factor that is what root 2 what you have to do rational multiply in numerator as well as and denominator also denominator and it is numerator new numerator numerator okay numerator and denominator okay so now what is the rationalization factor i am writing here now irrational denominator and what is their rationalization factor and what you will do rationalization factor you have to multiply numerator as well as denominator look at here if it is 2 root 2 we cannot multiply rational we will do only irrational part root 2 but if it is 2 plus root 3 then what will happen there is no plus is plus sign is there then you have to do rationalization factor multiply 2 same number but different sign that is called rationalization factor if it is root 3 minus root 2 then what you have to multiply root 3 plus root 2 that way you can multiply new denominator is rationalizing factor clear with this basis I'll show you some examples look at here the question they are given say 1 by root 7 I want to make it rationalize and what will do next line I'll do root 7 you have to multiply numerator as well as denominator please look at here this portion is very important this is same as this this part look at here this part is same as this but here what will do I multiply rationalizing factor if it is root 7 root 7 root 2 root 2 root 2 understood or not so now what do you get it here last time I saw you root 7 into 1 root 7 and root 7 root 7 I already told you no 7 see what is this rational or irrational rational denominator so this is the process called rationalizations now this is this basis on this basis now I'll show you in this basis clear are you get it now look at here if the question is giving 1 by 2 root 3 then what will do we'll get it here 1 by 2 root 3 as it is multiply with only root 3 part root 3 by root 3 so what do you get it here root 3 by root 3 root 3 is 3 2 into 3 so we'll get root 3 by 6 clear see rational denominator understand or not now some questions are like this please look at here right 3 by 2 root 3 then what we'll do look at here 3 by 2 root 3 multiply root 3 by root 3 equal to 3 root 3 by 2 3 is a 6 now we can cancel also so root 3 by 2 here we are not getting a chance root 3 and 6 cannot cancel rational and irrational cannot cancel rational rational can be cancelled so that's why here rational number is produced this can be cancelled with this so you get still rational denominator so some questions are like this also you can solve clear now we come to this area clear Now look at here the question is suppose 2 by 2 plus root 3 what will do look at here 2 by 2 plus root 3 as it is what you have now you have to multiply the rationalization factor different sign with the same number that is 2 minus root 3 same here why it did like that because if it is cancelled we get the same value what is the given in the question isn't it look at here now 2 don't multiply now okay 2 minus root 3 now it is a formula you know you know formula class 8 you will learn what is the formula we learn please remember this formula once again a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square clear so this is look at here a plus b it is a you think b you think same a b so what will happen here 
a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. What is a square? 2 square minus root 3 square. So, what do you get it here? 2, 2 minus root 3 by 2 twos are 4 and root 3 square is how much? Root 3 square is root 3 into root 3, 2 times. So, you already know root 3 into 3, so it's become 3. 4 minus 3, how much? 1. So, 2 bracket 2 minus root 3. So, you can multiply now 4 minus 2 root 3. Denominator is 1, no need to write. So, now rational denominator. This is the way we can do the rationalizations. Clear? Now, we will come to some uh, uh, mixing, uh, two parts of mixing, and show you how we can do it that part. Clear? Now look at here, if it is we have like uh, 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 or root 3 by root 48 plus root 18. How do we do this one? See denominator is rational. So what we will do here, you take LCM this one 48, look at here 48 LCM. So 2, 24, 2, 12, 2, 6. 2, 3. Now, from the pair you choose 1. So, if you make the square root of 48, it will come like this. 2 into 2, 2 into 2 into 3. So, these 2 come out and we will get root 3 because there is no pair. So, remain inside the root. So, 4 root 3 we got it. We got it here how much? 4 root 3. Like here. Yes. That is why I telling you 2, 2 is a 4 root 3. Shortcut. If you do like this 18, how much it will be? 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, from this 3 out, so it will be 3 root 2. And it is 2, 3 root 2 plus root 3. We cannot cancel because of plus sign. We cannot cancel this root 3 root 3. What we will do now? We will do rationalization again. What we will do? What is the process of rationalization? Multiply the denominator value, same value but different sign. Like 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2 by 4 root 3 minus 3 root 2. Do you follow me? See, same number but different sign by multiplying. Are you get how you are getting? Now, in these cases, you have to multiply this. What is called? Rainbow method. Rainbow method, you know, multiplications. Another way you can multiply this. Rainbow method we call so A4IL. First, first multiply. Then what is this? Outside, outside multiply, inside, inside and last, last multiply or we can say rainbow method. Rainbow method means this into this, again this into this, again this into this, this into this. This is the multiplication process. Rainbow we call rainbow method or foil. Foil means first, first, then first, the uh, uh, what do you call? Outside, outside, inside, inside, see I and last, last. We can follow that foil also. Understand? So, different way people are thinking different way. So, now look at here. 3, first, first number. When you multiply these two, look at here. 2 root 3 into 3 root 2. How do you multiply? You, you have to multiply these two and you have to multiply these two separately. Because rational multiply with rational, irrational multiply with irrational. Understood? So, 2, 3 is a 6, root 3 root 3 root 2, root 6, like that, understood? So, this way if you multiply, 3, 4 is a 12, root 2 into root 3, root 6, clear? Now, this with this, O, outside, 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 3, 3 is a 9, this first sign, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, 3, 3 is a 9, root 2, root 2, 2. Now, here, then inside, inside, both are inside, inside. Now, root 3 into this, how much? Here is 4, there is no number, you think 1, 4 ones are 4, first plus, 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 4, root 3, root 3, 3, correct? Then plus, minus, minus, 3, root 3 into root 2, root 6. Are you clear? Now look at here, this is A plus B, A minus B, see the formula, A square, A square means 4 root 3 whole square minus B square. 3 root 2 whole square. You, you, you explain in this way the whole square. 
You always think for whole square. Then it will be no mistakes. Whole square means everything under square. So now how much you can get it here? 12 root 6 minus 3 root 6. You can, same irrational can be subtract. Add also, like this. For example, root 2 plus 2 root 3. You'll get root 2. So you'll get 3 root 2. Like x. x plus 2x, 3x. Now, if I say 3 root 2, root 3, plus 4 root 3. So both the same root. We can say 7 root 3. Even subtract, multiply, we can do that. So like here, 12 root 6 minus 3 root 6, you can subtract 12 minus 3, 9 root 6. And here minus 18 plus 12. And it is 1, 4 4 are 16, root 3 root 3, 3 minus 3 3 is a 9, root 2 root 2, 2. Are you get my point? See, this these subtractions here, this multiply here, this multiply here. Denominator 16 into 3. 3, 3 is a 9, root 2, root 2, 2. Clear? So this part you understood? Now I'll show you the next part. Now look at here. So 9 root 6, we cannot add anything. It's 9 root 6. Minus 18 plus 2, and who is bigger? 18 bigger. So minus sign. And it is 6 by 16 3 is a 48 minus 9 2 is a 18. So 9 root 6 minus 6 by how much it will come? 30. You can cancel these. No, because of minus sign. If it is multiply, you can cancel. Addition, subtraction, you cannot cancel. What we'll do now? We'll do take common. Can you cancel after taking common? Yes, then only you take common. So what we'll do? You'll take 3 common. 3, possible to take common. The common means which can divide both the places. The digit which can divide both. That's called common. So now 3, 3 is a 9, root 6. 3, 2 is a 6. That's why 2 is come out here. 30. So you can cancel it. You'll get 10. So it is 3 root 6 minus 2 by 10. So denominator is what? Rational or irrational? Rational. So rationalization is done. So some questions are like this. You can able to solve. Now one more question, so I'll show you, that is with the value of A and B, I'll show you that part also. Clear? This is okay? Supposing one question is like this, 2 plus root 3 by root 3 plus root 2, okay, or 2 by, just like this, we make it 2 by root 3 and root 3 plus 2, only this much, equal to a plus b root 3 if then find a and b how to solve these questions if this equal to this then how to find a and b some questions can always come in the board exams so look at here we'll take the everything whatever given we will not do anything this side, we will solve this side. And in order to reach to this linear form, then only we can able to find A and B. Then we can compare. How to compare? Rational with rational, irrational with irrational number, we will compare. Clear? They are called like terms. So look at here. Since 2 by root 3 plus root 2, which one bigger? Tell me. Root 3, root 3 value is I already told you maybe or not. Root 3 value is number line always 1.732 and 2 is more than that. So which one is bigger that one preferably we write first. Why? In order to avoid minus sign in the latter part. Okay. So what we will do? We will write the because of plus sign minus we cannot do. Plus sign we write 2 first 
then write root 3. Clear? Then we multiply with rationalization process 2 minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 is equal to a plus b root 3. Clear? Now, should not multiply now or because this side is equal to is there 2, 2 minus root 3 by is the formula is what? a square minus b square. So, 2 square minus root 3 square. Right side, I told you as it is. Now, look at here 2, 2 minus root 3 by 4 minus 3 is equal to a plus b root 3. Is it clear? Now, look at the next line from the continuation here. Look at here. If I write here 2 minus root 3, 2 into 2 minus root 3 by 1. Now, denominator is 1. So, is equal to a plus b root 3. Clear? Now, we can multiply because no cancellation so far. So, 2 twos are 4 or I give an or. This is rainbow method minus 2 root 3 is equal to a plus b root 3. Is it clear? Okay. Now, look at here. Here, the rational number is this one. Irrational number is this one. Is this rational? Is this rational? Both are irrational. So, we can compare. Therefore, comparing the like terms, we can say what? a equal to 4. What about irrationals? The irrational is this one. See, root 3 is there, root 3. So, we compare this. And b root 3 is equal to minus 2 root 3. If we divide, this is a multiply. You can divide it or directly cancel also like this. If you divide, that also can cancel. Same thing. So, what we can get it here? b equal to minus 2. So, the question was asked, find a and b. So, what is a value? 4. What is b value? Minus 2. So, this is the way some question they can ask. This is the more about rationalizations, practical uses in the ex exercise. Now, uh, some irrational number how to add I'll show you also. Look at here. This is okay? Some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, How to add these numbers? Say 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 bar. That's called number recurring decimal, no? How to add them? We cannot add directly. You have to change the rational, then only can add. I told you last time. What is the process? First write 0, 06 means 6, minus which is not under bar, 0. How many is under bar? 1, 9. Just after decimal, if there is a no number, no 0. Like this, it is 7 minus 0 by 9. We just refer to you, if suppose 2.34, 4 bar, then what will do? It's a decimal, 234 minus 23 by 1, 9, and because just after decimal, no bar, that much 1, 0. How many digit bar? That much 9. How many digits just after decimal, no bar, that much 0. That is the process I apply here. And it is how much? 3, 1, 1. 2 by 9. We cannot cancel this answer. So, this process I apply here. So, now 6 by 9 plus 7 by 9. You take LCM 9, 6 plus 7, you will get 13 by 9. Th this is the way you can add some irrational number also. Understood? So, now this is all about the rationalization, irrational number dealings rational number dealings, please rectify and practice nicely, okay? So, uh, I'll give you uh, like say, uh, one, home, one home, homework also I can give it to you. You can do that part at home, okay? Clear? The assignment I'll give you, you can do it at home, it's okay? You can do this part, question one. Uh, root 5 plus root 7 by root 5 minus root 7 and number 2, question number 2 I will give you uh, say 4 by root 48 minus root 18. So, please practice such questions. It is really help you to deal with the rationalizations. Clear? Now, what I am telling you, I will come to the next class here, there is more about number system still we have left. What is that? Exponent part. 
we learned almost little bit in that. I'll show you again in class 9 portion we have. That is called real numbers, problem relating some real numbers. Clear? The laws of exponents of real numbers. Clear? So please sincerely practice this class, a very important class. Huh? I'll meet you again. Please stay home, stay safe and regularly attend the class. Okay? Thank you.